What's going on everybody? It is Ian here with Miller Garage and it is a freezing cold day here in Texas and it's actually gonna be getting even colder this week. It's supposed to be down into the teens. We might get some snow even, so that could be fun. But today we are upgrading our process, uh, our, our shell lift and our frame repair process. So we already have uh, the gantry cranes and we actually built a spot over here next to the shop that's gonna be dedicated for doing our shell lifts. Uh, that's behind here, we'll kind of show you a little bit of that. Um, but the main thing that we're talking about today is we are building a rotisserie for the frame, uh, for, for Airstream frames, as well as for you know any sort of vehicle, car, uh, truck, any of that, that kind of stuff as well for doing restoration so we can manipulate the, the body or the frame using this device. And so, uh, the first part of that, and I'm not going to really show you a whole lot of that just because um, that's, this is kind of the easier part of it, but we built shorter versions of the gantries, and uh, you can get the plans for these gantries through Andy Rawls. There's a link below. Uh, he's a really awesome dude. He's doing an Airstream renovation, but he's primarily a woodworker, and he made the plans for these, so you can go check those out. We modified them a little bit by making them shorter they're only eight feet tall and then we moved the uh, the supports for the uprights to where they're much taller to allow our rotisserie device to move up and down on those uprights underneath that so we we just changed the the way that the supports are and everything to facilitate what we're building so essentially what we are doing is we are making these to where they're gonna have a beam that goes up and down that upright and then in the middle of it there's a hub that will have attachments for the frame uh, for the Airstream frames and we're gonna have you know eventually build additional attachments for vehicles and stuff like that so this can be used for most any application and you know we're basically just using a, a axle a trailer axle hub on either end to create the rotating mo movement and then we have attachments that bolt on. So we're gonna show you kind of the process as well as once we get it done, we're gonna show you guys, we're gonna lift this frame up, we're gonna take the axles off and we are gonna just rotate it and it's gonna speed up our process a lot because before we would either not necessarily flip, flip the frame or we would use the hoists and use two in the back and one in the front to flip it and that really just didn't, you know, didn't work great and uh, it took more time and so this is going to enable us to be able to literally do it multiple times during the process so we can you know while we're cleaning uh, and doing rust removal on the frame we can flip it all every direction and you know get it from all the angles whenever we're painting I can just put the thing on its side and hit it from both sides um, and then bring it back down I mean there's so many things that we're going to be able to do with this it's going to really speed up our process so I'm really excited we've been working on this for uh, a few weeks now kind of intermittently and we're getting it pretty much uh, all finished up and we'll show you guys the process and a little bit of the build and then show it in action so stay tuned <laughs> Obviously the biggest obstacle with doing this frame rotisserie is going to be supporting and rotating that weight uh, of both like Airstream frames and vehicles and basically whatever you wanna be able to use with this. And 
So kind of the design that we came up with is to use these uh, two by six pressure treated boards as the, you know, the beam that's gonna move up and down the gantry crane and then that's gonna house our rotating device. And so essentially what we're doing to make this really strong is, is we have the two boards and then we're stacking additional boards in between them. And they all have the five drill, the uh, five holes drilled in it. And uh, that's gonna be for the hub that we're gonna use that's gonna be the rotating device. So we're actually using a axle hub off of like a trailer axle to be the central rotational device. And so once we have these, that thing's really heavy. <laughs> so once we have these stacked on here, then we're gonna use these plates that we've made. And this is the front one. And that is gonna go on the, on the board, but I'll just kind of show you guys. Um, you know, it goes on there and then we have a smaller plate that's on the backside that sandwiches them. And then they're all gonna be bolted together with these nice 12 inch uh, long half inch bolts. And so it's very sturdy. We got one already put together and we're working on getting this one all fitted up and ready to put together. And this, you know, in theory, <laughs> From best we can uh, assume, this is going to work really well and be very strong. So, one of the other little caveats of that is uh, we needed a place for the we're using chain hoist essentially to raise and lower this, and so we had to make a hook um, or a mount essentially for the hook to attach to, and that is going to be sandwiched in between, and it's going to have two bolts going through it, and so we routed out this uh, second block and then that's going to go here and the bolts are going to run through it so it's going to be very securely attached and that's what's going to bring the, the rotisserie essentially up and down on the gantries to move that beam up and down that'll move the frame up and down to where then we can rotate it uh, so one of the other things with this front mounting plate you'll notice that it, you know it kind of almost looks like a gatling gun um, <laughs> but we put these pin these uh these tubes on here, we welded those on, and we have uh, little pins on our mounting plates, on our mounting attachments that are gonna lock in there so that we can put it, you know, put the frame at different angles and then lock it in place. And so that is what is gonna be uh, the, the purpose of these. So uh, we're gonna bolt all this together and get the hubs on it. Currently, Gabe is drilling out the hubs to get those to the half inch size so we can use bolts on that. Um, and then we're going to bolt this thing together and then take it out to the gantry and put it on there and see how, you know, how the movement is. And then uh, the game plan is going to be to put our attachments on it and then be able to test it out on a frame, which is going to be really exciting. Just go all the way down. Cool. There it is. And we're just using these 1100 pound uh, manual chain hoists. Uh, I got these from Northern Tool. And we use these for like the shell lift gantries and all that kind of stuff. So we're just using the same thing on this one. Cool, so we got it in place on the gantry. Uh, now we're gonna be using uh, like 10 inch, I believe, half, 10 inch long, half inch bolts. And we're gonna be running them through uh, 
these pieces. So that's going to be able to clamp down essentially the, the two two by sixes. I think those are two by sixes, two by that or two by eights, one of the two. Um, and then the bolts will bring it together and it'll clamp it down onto the upright. So that'll lock it into place once we get it to the right height so we can rotate it and it's not going to just make that thing all wobbly and wonky. We got the front one uh, on here as well and installed and then we have this attachment bolted onto the, uh, the, the axle hub. And so uh, this one's for the front and basically what we did is we got two pieces of four inch C channel and this is like 3 16 thick. So this stuff is really, uh, really sturdy and heavy duty. And uh, we made a, basically a flange here and they're at an angle and they're bolted on, or uh, sorry, welded to this plate. And then we have uh, an actual trailer hitch welded to that as well. And that's the center point. So that's centering up the hitch of the frame with the center line of our rotation. So it'll rotate smoothly and basically like on the center point of the frame. So it'll be a lot easier to rotate. It won't have uh, like any sort of weight being thrown off by one side being heavy or anything like that. And then what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna put it up under there. It's gonna attach to the ball hitch and then we're going to um, strap it onto the frame using, I got these really big hose clamps, uh, like the metal type ones, as well as some nylon lashing straps. And so between doing probably three on each side and the hitch, it should you know be really sturdy um, and easy to set up. We didn't want to have anything that like bolts or any of that, just to make things a little bit easier. And you know, again, this unbolts. And so we can basically build whatever mount we want for this thing and use this for literally anything. I mean, heck, we could put, you know, a just a rod through it and put a whole bunch of chickens on it or a pig or something. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I already have a big smoker in the back for all of our meat needs, but um, <laughs> but we could we could essentially hook up, you know, a vehicle body with this. We could do, um, you know, in theory, if you build something right, you could do a boat, you could do pretty much anything. So. And the great thing about this is it's not limited, you know, to a degree it's limited because you can only probably go so wide until, or so long until, uh, you know, obviously what you're doing, it starts to sag in the middle or whatever. But again, you know, you're probably not going to work on a 50 foot piece, but we think this will work just fine. This is a 20, I believe a 25 or a 27 foot frame. So this is getting on the bigger side of things. So this is a good test to see how well it's going to work. Um, some of our only hesitations are maybe just the friction of these sliding up and down. Uh, but we think once the frame is on there, it'll level it all out and it'll allow it to, to move pretty freely. Um, I want to show you guys the back real quick as well and what we got going on there for the Airstream frames. Okay, so here in the back, you can see it's kind of, it almost, you know, basically looks like a propeller. Um, and so this butts up to the uh, rear bumper of the trailer. If it's ones that have the removable aluminum bumper, we're gonna have uh, a piece that attaches here and it'll slide into the frame and then we'll attach it that way. Uh, we need to build that still, but right now we're, we have at least two trailers that have the welded on bumpers and so that'll work for this. And then um, as far as our locking device, our kind of our Gatling gun design here, we have this pin that slides out and then it'll rotate and basically you can lock it in it's a little close to the frame you can lock it in you know it of course that one's not quite lined up right but <laughs> we're a little off there just kind of need to bend that over but um we're still kind of refining the whole design but we can lock it in here at 45 and then it's locked in there and it's pretty solid. So well, I think we are ready to attach this thing to the frame and, uh, and see what happens. We're a little, a little nervous, but I think it's going to work really well as you know, it's kind of two options here. It either it works really well or it, it works really well. So it needs to do one of those two things. Moment of truth. So we have it strapped in. 
Uh, I've got the axles unbolted, so we're basically just going to bring it up off the axles and then be able to roll those out of there, uh, make it a lot easier. Because uh, that was always kind of a pain in the butt doing axles, because we'd have to like unbolt them, drop them down, and you know, then lift them or scoot them back in place, lift them up, all that. So a huge pain in the butt. So this hopefully will speed us up. So we are going to try this thing and see what happens. Oh. Okay, uh, we also may need to uh, bring it up a little bit and try to like uh, get the axles to drop, to loosen out of there. So. It's moving. My side seems relatively smooth. Okay, hold up, because we're just kind of floating there with the axles. That's all holding. <laughs> yeah, yours is, that's definitely, seems to be torquing a, little. torquing a little more, so. Is it because it's loose on the bumper? I think, I think the issue is we might need to call up on the system, but see how it's sliding down. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, that side's working really good. I think this side, yeah, just a little adjustment on that, and there it goes. <laughs> It's out, it just needs to go up. Yeah, I mean, this side's going pretty smooth. Yeah. Block it maybe. I think it's just, it's twisting so much that it's, yeah. I, I think that's just the key. Okay, hold on. So let's see if I can do if I can rotate it by myself. <laughs> yes. Victory. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is now a one person job. Just like that. We're upside down. Clean it, flip it. There's the step. <laughs> That is awesome. That is so cool. I'm so happy. All right, lock that side in. Actually, hold on, let me flip it this way so the bottom will be over here. And that's really easy to control and manage. That's awesome. And these gantries aren't even budging. Like those are so rock solid. Okay, let's lock it in here. All right, and then we are, I know, right? <laughs> the manipulation device, so. Well, there it is. It is now on its side, and man, that worked so good. Um, obviously, a little bit of friction on the back one. The front one uh, was working fine, but we think is what it is, is that the rear propeller that attaches the bumper, it's just not quite tight enough. So it's able to slip up and kind of rotate up. So it's causing the whole thing to kick down. And so we just need to put maybe like a little tab on the bottom that holds it into place. Um, but other than that, I mean, this thing works great. The gantries and everything are super solid. Um, so once we get it in place, 
we'll run these bolts down and lock it in so it doesn't have any movement so we can work on it so now we'll be able to basically you know we could get put it on its side like this and then we could have people on either side doing all the wire brushing cleaning it up getting everything off and then uh, we can flip it we could paint it like this and just bring it down rotate it around paint it i mean this will this will shave easily i would say what like four or five hours off of the process, I mean, at least. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, with, with having the setup where we have the gantries there and then we can bring it immediately into these gantries and manipulate everything, I mean, this is gonna <clears throat> take one to two days off of our process time of doing subfloor replacement. So, um, this is, you know, this will be a huge help. And again, this can be used for a lot of different things. So. Really excited with how this thing turned out.